Developing at 4.30, the parents of a woman who has been missing now since 2006. They want to know more about the investigation into their daughter's disappearance. But police are not handing over those documents. That has led to court dates and hearings, and there was one today. News 6's Vanessa Ariza was in court this morning. Vanessa, what was this hearing about? Julie, Jennifer Kessie's parents filed a complaint Monday asking that the Orlando Police Department hand over their documents that outline their investigation. Their then 24-year-old daughter went missing back in 2006, and since then, there have been no suspects and no arrests. Next month will mark 13 years since the disappearance of 24-year-old Jennifer Kessie. For years, her parents have been fighting to find answers. That fight continued in the Orange County Courthouse this morning. This hearing, the whole purpose of this litigation was to get the records out of OPD's hands and into someone who is looking at it um, not in a biased manner. And Those documents, 43 binders worth, according to City Attorney Alex Cardin, are part of the ongoing active investigation. Hence the reasoning behind the redactions. But those redactions far exceed what's needed, according to Kessie's attorneys. They have redacted, to give the court an example, I'm fanning through their recent response to our November 29th letter. And virtually every piece of information that is not a, a time and date at the top has been blacked out to the point where just printing off their 119 expense went through a toner. The cost of the files, according to Cardin, would exceed $18,000 for the family. But, Cassie's attorneys say, this isn't about the money. Rather, getting a better look at what the investigation has consisted of since Jennifer's disappearance. This is not at all about anyone trying to show up law enforcement or do anything to that regard. That is to give these people what they are entitled to, which is knowledge of what the investigation was involving their daughter back in early 2006 and what's happened since then. Now, in the end, Judge Bob LeBlanc ruled another judge who will be taking on this case will review the unredacted files on January 12th. The city, they released a statement earlier today saying this case is still in the very early stages, adding they continue to actively investigate this case and have received more than 180 tips in the past five years. Ginger. Vanessa Ariza, thank you.